Even in its pre-alpha state, our art team composed of veteran industry ninjas have outdone themselves. From the ancient gothic gazebos near the spawn platforms, the gurgling rivers, the mysterious jungle, to Black Claw's den, Sovereign's Rise is nothing short of beautiful. Some of the savvy amongst you might also notice that Vainglory 3.0 also includes a near industry first Fog of War on mobile. Yeah, you heard right. Fog of War! Our CTO Tommy and the core engineering team have achieved this paragon of MOBA game mechanics through nothing short of tireless commitment. You have to understand, Fog of War for us was never just about making it work. We wanted to make it work well. And that meant it needed to live up to our unapologetic standards of beauty, excellence, and most important, performance. There's a reason why no other MOBA on mobile has been able to achieve this holy grail to this level of excellence. Traditionally, the calculations to perform and render Fog of War on handheld devices has been nearly impossible to do without making your frame rate grind to a halt and make your phone melt through your table. Many games have tried it and failed, but we've done it. Vainglory 3.0 is proud to debut this much pleaded for feature as part of the mobile ready evil engine and exclusively for Vainglory. And this stuff doesn't even scratch the surface, folks. I honestly could spend the whole video talking about the art and graphics, but hey, I only had one gluten-free cookie. So I gotta talk at least a little bit about our development plan and some juicy secrets behind the creation of 5v5. Rumors and whispers have abounded about how 5v5 plays. Vainglory has always been about crafting the unapologetically authentic and best MOBA experience that we as developers believe is possible while at the same time making the best choices to keep the game approachable and friendly to new players. So when we kicked off development for 5v5, we started with that core principle in mind. Both veterans and new players alike need intuitive controls and much more tactical information in 5v5 than in 3v3. To solve some of these problems, we took a unique approach. All players will play from left to right. This is done by clever mirroring of the art and camera even when you play from the opposite side. This allowed us to be more generous to the space and readability of the minimap, making it bigger and richer while having the confidence that for all players, enemies will still appear on the more empty right side of their screen. Don't worry, for those of you used to the minimap on the other side, there's an option to switch it back. But try it first. Play it and tell us what you think. With such an expansive battlefield, we quickly realized that our tried and true scout traps were no longer the most effective way of placing vision. 5v5 introduces a new vision item called the Scout Cam. While they don't explode like their Scout Trap counterparts, Scout Cams are more reliable, they live longer, and are harder for enemies to clear, giving them a much better feel for such a large battlefield. All players can place them using Scout Totems automatically included in their inventory. And yes, for you captains out there that love seeing it all, your Scout Cams can be upgraded to increase their charges, durability, and vision range. Wait, how much more time do I have? Okay, okay, dang, I'm running out. Okay, but there's so much more. The creatures that live in Sovereign's Rise are new, vicious, and with game-altering effects for those brave enough to attack them. Gold Toad provides you with gold. Oh well, it's still a treant right now. I told you, we're still working on it. But it will be a toad, I think. Okay, trust me. Next are creatures that will enhance your crystal power, weapon damage, even health and energy. The jungle shop has evolved, taken to the skies. They've taken up residence near the river, here and here. Just as in 3v3, shopping is risky, but ultimately very rewarding. Okay, you wanna know a quick secret? See that gorgeous river? If you move with the river's current, you run faster. I am totally not kidding. It's pretty badass, especially when playing as Saw mid lane and need to travel south to help a buddy. How much time left? Okay, more secrets. Don't want to walk all the way to the lane? There are boots that actually allow you to teleport for that. Laning has new mechanics too, where we've introduced a new minion called the Captain Minion. These are these large guys at the end of the minion wave, right? When they are around, they buff the other minions near them. Taking out an enemy captain minion, but leaving the other minions, sets up a slow push for a lane, enabling you to manage your lane pushes strategically. I haven't even gotten into the new vein crystal or its armories and defenses. That's right, you want a base race? Cause the vein in 5v5 fights back, bro. And most importantly, Sovereign's Rise is home to a new monster, 
well, two actually. Move over, Kraken. You're not the only mythic creature in Vainglory anymore. Meet the Storm Queen's dragons, Black Claw and Ghost Queen. Each with over 145 bones, 50 animation frames, and multiple PvP attacks, these dragons are the most complex creatures to ever have set foot in Vainglory. Both dragons will circle the map before landing at 7 and 15 minutes respectively. A courageous battle with Black Claw wins his loyalty, sending him down the lane to crush and pillage turrets and foes. Conquering Ghostwing provides a team-wide mega boost turning you all into terrifyingly powerful adversaries. Dude, these are what real dragons feel like. It's all in there. Spellbinding matches, visceral mechanical skill, deep rotational and tactical strategies, a complex vision game, and epic objective fights. And more fun than anything else on mobile. All with your favorite roster of 35 plus Vainglory heroes. With Vainglory 5v5, we set out to create the absolute cutting edge of not just mobile MOBAs, but mobile gaming as a whole. Because you mobile gamers deserve better. I know you've waited a long time for this. We hope you love it. And we can't wait to see you on the rise. Okay, I gotta go. I'm out of cookies. <laughs>